everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Spider Squidman's Battle for Bikini Bar Rehydrated. Last episode, we 100%ed Sand Mountain, and this episode, with <laughs> a lot more spatulas than we need, we're gonna go enter the, the, the final area unlock boss thing. So let's jump on in! Doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili riano in a pan of grease. We have to help. You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Well, we better figure something out and pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. Yikes. Button, by the way, uh, don't really think you would call it a button. Right, this boss actually gave me a, gave me a lot of problem in the original game, so let's see. Also, I feel like it might be easier when they tell you where the projectiles go, since that was not in the original game. Look at that! The robot's made himself dizzy! So yeah, they say button, but it just like hit me sign, so I don't know, like... That's funny that they didn't change it to an actual button in this game. I don't know why they didn't. So generally, this boss, you usually want to keep moving. And then, I mean, it's even easier. Like I said, in the initial game, you didn't actually, in the original game, you didn't actually know where those things were going to land. So we just kind of had to hope a little bit. So they're pretty fast. The sniper shot is a lot more accurate. Oh, look at this profile picture. In the bottom left, yuck. do see do and around you go. Is that what he just said? I actually couldn't hear him. That. Wait, why is it in the middle like that? That's weird. It does not look good. <laughs> nice stock sound effect bird noise. <laughs> that still looks so stupid. What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob on Frozen? I kind of wish. Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! I kind of wish Robot Patrick got to fight Robot or normal Patrick and Robot Sandy got to fight Robot Sandy. You know, I don't like. It's funny to me that that's not a thing. You'd think it would be. Why not? Right? Makes more sense at all. There are all whole gangs here. Ooh, oh shit. Oh god, he's so fast. Pee. Go -do 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 -do. So you can use the uh, the Texas symbols up there. What do you call those? Um. Now the robot's taking a beating. I don't really know. Normally he lands. <laughs> Fuck. All right, we're what gonna skip this. Going to to oh, we gotta start it all over. Oh man. Maybe if we went from the Texas hook. Normally, like in this game, he always goes to the middle where he lands. But in the original game, he would normally just wherever he stops oh, spinning, that's, that's where he would land, and you would use that to, to, to your that's advantage. But you can't do that in this game, so I'm not entirely sure how well it's gonna work. If I'm being honest, but let's let's try doing this the way it wants you to. Oh, boxes! But they all immediately despawn. It's interesting. Oh, God. This camera sucks. Can't see what the hell's going on. I want to keep Patrick on the screen, but the camera doesn't let you. Oh, wait! It's the Texas hooks that spawns the boxes. Ah. Okay, that's very wonky. One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring. Hooray! Okay, so I didn't realize that this would activate the boxes. I thought those just kind of naturally came down when Patrick created the sloge. I wish I could see what was going on. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm on my way! This should be it. Oh, good, good, good. Please, Kate. Good. Okay, so you don't have to worry about where you land with that last one because the cutscene immediately starts. Wait, what? The sludge hit them in the original game. That's why they're able to escape. In this game, they just naturally melt? Huh? SpongeBob is back in the fight. Freezy fruit. 
Let's go on a move, yeah. Um, let's just hang out in here and see what happens. This is a nice big platform. Although I think it'll force us to move. Oh shit. Although it'll force us to move eventually here. That sniper shot sucks in this game. The original ones are really fucking fast and really hard to avoid. But this one seems as fast as the other ones. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. This start of animation seems a lot longer in this game. It sure was Johnny Earnhardt or whatever the hell your name is, dude. No! Ah! Maybe going this way is a bad idea. This is just the closest underwear I had, man. Stop! <laughs> I can't die to Patrick! Oh yeah, so it looks like it's always kind of hard to go. Okay, well I already have all the underwear you can possibly get in this stage, so um... I see a prime bowling moment right here! Is this close enough? That should be good. This boy must good! Be smoking at the lanes. Go! Great barrier reads. Great barrier reads. Please, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we got him! We got him! We got him! Yes! Whoo! Besides the final boss, this one was one of the hardest, I think. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. These fillers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fuzz in my pants. Cool poop joke. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Throngs. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you going to do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're going to have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Mm, something's fishy here. I wonder if there'll ever be another game like this. A battle for Bikini Bomb 2, if you will. I doubt it, but man, it'd be so cool if there was. How far does this let me go before the... No! I was out! I was in the back! Oh, cool. It loaded me back in instantly. I thought I was still stuck there for a second. Whoa, 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 whoa! I can make that! Well, if I didn't blow it up, I could have made it. Wait, I mean, we can do it from here. Oh, shit. It's good. Oh, it doesn't give you any time at all! Ooh, the theater looks cool in this game. I want to see if I can do... No, stop, stop, stop. I can't see what the hell's going on. Dude, you can totally make it up there. Camera, please. Oh, that's... Like, not with that one, I can't. Oh, man. There's not another one coming, is there? Oh, maybe I can make that jump. You gotta be quick, though. Nope. <laughs> please don't die in Bikini Bob, man. That's not the way you're supposed to get up there, anyways. Oh, if that wasn't clear. Alright, so we got Kelp Forest. At the adventure! Ooh, looks pretty cool. Um, we got the the re the re of oh, the reef boats. Wait, what? May I help you? Okay, it's 40k, so that's good. Uh, I thought maybe they would boost that to boats, boats. But why does it say boats for the hell? Um, I guess that's just more bikini bottom over there. That's weird. I remember that being. I don't know why there's more stuff that way. There's nothing there. Collapse buildings. Hmm, what else we got here? We got this spooky looking area. We could finally go over there. Oh, well, eventually. I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, positively SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, Press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow! 
aim carefully, though. You've Move only his lips got a lot there for a while. <laughs> time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Cool. So with that, roll the do that. We now have the best ability. Oh my God! Feels so much faster. Ah, uh, good lord. Okay, that definitely felt like that should have been a range. Um, yeah. So this ability is actually really cool. Whoa! What the hell's going on, dude? And you actually use it to blow up stone tiki's. Oh no! Oh no! I don't like how it feels. Maybe I'll get used to it like I did with the slide. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's funny. In the original game, it actually pushes the dumpster over. It was completely redesigned for this game. It was like a green, normal-looking dumpster. And this one is like unique. So, hey, we actually blow up these now. Opening presents. Cool! Um, hey, crab. So, here's where crab oh, stands on, now. Mr. Krabs, you don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. Does he look clammy? The crab's been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse! They've got all me beautiful, shiny objects! Good animation. The crusty crab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back to the restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money. Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs. Let's get all. Let's do this. I feel like I should be working. Are you ready, kids? Set. Go! Well, there's people in here. I don't think that was in here originally. I want the robots as well. Cool, cool. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. I didn't want those guys to get shot down like that. That's not good. That, that's going to make this a lot harder. Oh, fuck. Um, wait. We do that. Okay, that, that bought me some shit. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh no. Wait. I can't see what I'm doing! Game! Dude, this camera! Okay. Like no, dude! That was just my fault. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. This is not easy. I mean, there's so many enemies in this tiny area that this ain't easy mining. There's a duplicator Tron. Wait, where is it? Woo! I can walk along here. I walk a lonely road. Them. <gasps> Ooh, I blew him up! So I think that's the only duplicator tron, right? You should be my next enemy. Oh god. Ah! Please, please, please! Okay, okay. Once those lasers turn red, that's when he can't. Ah! Okay, there's two more over there, then we just have to worry about the sleepy time. The sleepy boy. I need to be careful here. These guys aren't normally an issue, but when you have one health, they, they get a lot, they're a lot more scary to deal with. All right, and just to be safe, we're gonna do this. Whoo! With one underwear left, we somehow managed to do that. Good lord, dude, that was scary. All right, let's get back up here. Yay. Uh, there is a sock again here as well. But in the original game, you had to leave and come back. And I'm guessing you probably have to do that in this one, too. So I'm not going to waste any time. Yeah, let's not waste it. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. Hello, crabs! You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. What a bad impression. This blows my mind. You always see like really good impressionists on like YouTube and stuff, right? But like when, it, but like they always somehow manage to get really shitty impressionists for like these games. I don't know. I feel like I should be working. But there's no time. Finish your life for you, SpongeBob. So hopefully this sock. I mean, of course the sock's still here. So I don't really even know exactly what you have to do for this. I think you just gotta destroy everything. Don't you dare look at me, crazy lady. Tables have a really weird pit box on them. Can't like destroy this stuff, right? No. It, no. Hey! What can we see in here? Anything? Hmm. Not too much. 
Aw, that, that would explode the ketchup and mustard on the walls in the previous game. They got them rid of that for some reason. I feel like a new sponge. Oh yeah, here's the mime. <laughs> I'm glad they kept him in. That's funny. Now that's comedy. <laughs> Alright, let's get up here. Okay, but not before we blow these up, please. Thank you. <laughs> Destroy everything! SpongeBob hates his job now! Ah! This reminds me of um, Pitfall's Expedition, where you go, there's a town in that game you go to and you can just destroy everything in it as well. It's great. It feels wonderful. Um, yeah, this camera really sucks in, in this part. I'm a fan of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know the exact specifics to get the sock spot. I might literally just be destroy all the tiki's. I'm not sure, but I've always destroyed everything and that was always good enough. Okay, I destroyed everything and that was not good enough. Uh, what now? They would not have gotten rid of that sock, would they? Why would they have? That, that doesn't make sense. They didn't get rid of any other Oh, here's something. Okay, it still wasn't good enough. Um, yum, 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 yum. It's the stabbing fish. He's cursed this place. Oh, there's one more. There we go. So I guess it is destroy everything. What a weird sock, right? Like, there's no point to that. Also, that was a very long time to show me that. You know what? What could have made the cutscene better? Or cutscenes in general like that? Is instead of just showing it and flashing back to you, if they pan the camera to you, so you actually know where it is! Which crow's nest? There it is. Caca, caca, crow's nest. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Alright, let's go. Yep, areas like these are where I get real sick of these loading screens because that took forever. Um, okay, there's actually more for us to do here. I was really hoping. Oh, interesting. These switches look very much different. Um. Oh god, it's a lot harder to control too. That didn't even work. Okay, somehow this is working out. <laughs> That's a lot harder to control than I remember being. All right, let's get on up here. I was really hoping to also use this episode, good lord, dude, to uh, go back and, because now we could actually go back to the first parts of the game and collect everything else we've missed before. Yay! I don't really have any reason to do this, but I wanted to. Hooray! Oh, didn't mean to fall yet, but it's fine. You could totally get up here from over, from using these Sunder Tiki's, though, from jumping over there. I know you can. There's no way you can't. Uh, and then... I should have gotten this before doing the Mr. Krabs! Okay. Special, but it's fine. Also, we could probably do that from the trampoline, huh? Whee! Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah, probably. Wow. <laughs> Six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. I feel like a new sponge. <laughs> um, sponge okay! Ball. Should I end it here? Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, he's in the cruise bubble. We can't go back and do everything that we want to. Um, or everything we've missed, I guess. Uh, so, I guess we'll end it here. And then next time, we'll start off by going back and getting everything we've missed so far. Um, which should just be Jellyfish Fields. We're missing two socks. And then, um, nope. Down, and then Downtown Bikini Ball, we're missing a sock and a spatula. Uh, well, yeah, we're almost done with Patrick's socks, too. Cool, cool. Oh, God. That's 6,000. Ugh. Blech. Kelp Forest. Oh, no. You know. Alright, so next time we'll start off in Jellyfish Fields, uh, where I'll get the two remaining socks we haven't gotten yet, and then we'll go to Downtown Bikini Bottom and get the uh, sock we missed, as well as the special we missed, and then hopefully we'll start a new level. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye bye!